In this equation, we have KBr plus BaI2. This is potassium bromide plus barium iodide. To balance the equation, let's count the atoms up on both sides. So we have one potassium, one bromine, one barium, and two iodine atoms. On the product side, we have the one potassium, two bromines, one barium, and then one iodine. So why don't we just start by trying to balance the bromines. We could put a two here, so we have two times the one potassium. Now we have two of those, but now we have two times the one bromine. So that'll balance the bromine atoms. Let's balance the potassium. I think that'll balance the iodine atom as well. So we need to put a two here, two times the one potassium. That'll give us two potassium atoms, two times the one iodine. That'll give us two of those. Now everything's the same on both sides of this equation. We're done. This equation is balanced. As I look at this equation, this should take place in an aqueous medium. That means it'll be dissolved in water. And both of these products are soluble. So really, if you have these two react, you won't see anything happen because you'll have the same ions at the beginning as you do at the end. Everything's dissolved. But either way, if you need to balance this equation, KBr plus BaI2, the coefficients are 2, 1, 2, 1. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.